Hello everyone, I am Douglas E. Welch. Welcome back to Technology IQ for another Tech IQ tip. Now today we're going to talk to you about using your iPad and other iOS devices to actually dictate into them and into your computer systems for those kinds when you don't really feel like handwriting something out or typing something in. So here we are with our iPad. Now I'm sure you're probably familiar with some of the various Siri commands that you can use to dictate into your iPad. So we hold down the home key to bring up Siri. Make a note to record a Technology IQ video about recording dictation into your iPad, period. Noted. And there you go. The iPad's made a note using your dictated words right into the notepad app. Now what if we want to record more information, longer notes, and do something more with them? Well, what we can do is we can actually back out. We can go over to the built-in notepad app called Notes and we'll see the note we just recorded. Now what you can do in here, because you have more of a page to deal with, you can continue on with your dictation. For example, if we look at any app that allows you to type in input from the iPad keyboard, down here near the lower left-hand corner, you're gonna see a little microphone. What that microphone means is you can dictate anything into this application just in the same way that you would type it in. You'll see that icon pop up whenever you're in a text input field on your iPad. So let's go ahead and click that. Now is the time for all good men to come to the aid of their country. New paragraph. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Period. New paragraph. Now you'll notice when you're doing dictation, you do need to hit the done button when you're done talking to Siri so that it knows you've completed your input. And there you can see the text we've just input in. Note also that you can include certain punctuation, certain formatting, like the new paragraph phrase you heard me speak to start a new line, and you can do some basic formatting to your document as you dictate it in. For example, you can say things like, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, period. This, open parenthesis, is a test, close parenthesis, period, exclamation point, exclamation point, question mark. Of course, it only works as well as you actually speak. <laughs> but you can see that it got most of that. You can't do bulleted lists or numbered lists or anything like that as far as I can tell from the dictation, but you could always add those when you do your editing later. Now, of course, now that you've got your text into the Notepad app or other iPad app, you're going to want to do something to it. Perhaps forward it via email, send it to a friend, or even include it in another document. Well, from the Notepad app and from most iPad apps, it's very easy to simply click on the Send icon up here, and we're given various options, including a text message, email, copy, and print. Now, there's actually uh, also you can click and hold on the document. You can select the document or parts of the document you want, copy it, and paste it into any other iPad app. For example, say we wanted to take this text and put it into another program like, say, Evernote. Well, we can hit our home button to come back, go into our Evernote, Pro, Evernote program, click the add new note button, and double click, double tap, and say paste. There's our note right in Evernote. Now, of course, what you can probably see here too, though, is since we're in a text input field in Evernote, it's very simple down here to simply hit the microphone button and record even more of your note directly into Evernote. You don't need to use Notepad at all, period and you'll see that it added that right to the note as well. So you can actually skip the notepad step if you wish. Now finally, there's a really neat feature that I want to show you that I actually use on occasion. The fact is, I use Google Drive to store all of my writing. I don't use Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office or stuff like that anymore. I actually write right in to Google Drive. Well, as you might imagine, you can dictate right in to Google Drive. All we need to do is hit the Add a New bo Note button up here in the upper right, say new document. We can actually even dictate in the name of the document, test document. We can say create. Again, we're in a text field, so the microphone icon is there. Then we can simply dictate into the Google Drive document as if we were typing in from the keyboard, either on the iPad or even on our own computer and there you go. Now the great thing about this, of course, is Google Drive, when you have a connection to the internet, automatically saves its documents right out there to the cloud. So as you dictate your document in, it's being saved automatically in the cloud where you can access it from any other device. Now one of the things I use dictation in my iPad for too is sometimes just making note of 
information from other printed material like this book that I'm reading. I came across, for example, a, a paragraph that I wanted to save. I can simply dictate the paragraph or sentence that I would like right into the iPad and therefore I don't have to type it in at all. For example, this led me to realize that the genetic difference between plants and animals is not as insignificant as I had once believed, period. I began to question the parallels between plant and, plant and human biology even as my own research evolved from studying plant responses to light to leukemia in fruit flies, period. And barring my one little misspeak there, there's a paragraph right in there. Again, I can put this right into Evernote or any other iPad app. Since this document is actually being saved out there in the cloud, live, I can actually access the document live from any of my other devices, including my computer. Let me show you what that looks like. So here we are looking at Google Drive on my Macintosh screen. And here's my test document that you saw me create in the iPad. Now the iPad document is still open. And if I bring up this document on my Mac, you can actually see that when I start to move around in the document, and if I type from the keyboard, you'll actually see changes start to appear in the document as well. Like the word changes down there at the bottom. Now imagine that I can of course use dictation to do exactly what I was doing before. It was a dark and stormy night, period. There was a dark streak of clouds across the moon, period. I was deeply frightened, period. So if you'll forgive my prose, you'll see that almost immediately the text began to appear in the Google Drive document as I was dictating into the iPad. So in one case I've used this to have someone sitting across the room dictating in and I could watch what they were dictating right here on my Macintosh. You could even do it with someone who's remote from you. They could be dictating into their iPad into a Google Drive document and you could be watching it from afar. So that's how you can use dictation into your iPad or iPhone for a number of uses. Hope you found this useful. For more information, visit the website techiq.welchright.com. There you'll find lots of other tech tips and other technology information. For more information on everything that I do, visit douglasewelch.com. There you'll find links to Technology IQ, as well as a gardener's notebook, careers in new media, career opportunities, and more. Until next time, control your technology, don't let it control you.